Hey, it's Tesla Canuck. Welcome back to another video. It's a gorgeous day out today. So I'm gonna put my bike rack on the uh, trailer hitch here for the Tesla Model Y. This is gonna be the first time I'm gonna use it. Now I know that there's some uh, quirks in terms of the sensors and all that kind of stuff and backing up and you know beeping and people kind of getting a little bit annoyed with it. Uh, there's also trailer mode, which you can turn on, which I think will solve that problem, but then you lose some safety features. So a couple things today. One is I'm gonna show you how to uh, attach your bike rack to the trailer uh, hitch here on the Model Y. Then after that, we're gonna go for a drive and we're gonna figure out what the quirks are in terms of driving with uh, a bike on the back of your Model Y. And uh, yeah, and then I'm gonna go for a bike ride. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. All right, so first things first, you gotta get this plastic cover off of your, where your tow hitch is. And uh, it's not exactly the easiest thing to do. And I find that uh, you need to have a pretty decent tool to do it. A screwdriver will probably do, uh, I have this little thingamabob here, I don't know. Uh, and I'm going to just take off the cover. There we go. Like I said, it's not super easy. And uh, I really wish this was a better design part actually that uh, could come off easy. There might be times where maybe you don't have a screwdriver or something like that to, to take it off. Uh, yeah, good luck with your fingernails there, trying to get that off. <laughs> All right, so yeah, let's move on to the next step. All right, I'm not a tow hitch kind of expert or anything like that. Um, I just trail things, I don't build them. But measured diagonally, it looks like it's a three inch uh, opening. So not sure if that equates to a three inch receiver or what the proper terminology is, but um, that's the size when you measure it diagonally in terms of the opening. And uh, this bike rack here, um, you can use any bike rack. This one is off of Amazon. I'll throw a link in the, uh, in the description. You can go check them out yourselves. I'll, I'll throw a link for a bunch of them. Uh, there isn't one in particular that I recommend, and this isn't a sponsored video, so. All right, um, so the one that I have has an attachment because it looks like it's a one and quarter inch uh, here and uh, has an attachment to have it fit these three inch uh, receivers. So let's go and put this in. All right, like I said, this is the first time I'm putting it in. Uh, I couldn't find the hole. Yeah, let's not go there. Um, <laughs> okay, I got it sorted. It's on, the pin is connected and it's on there sturdy. I'm gonna throw the bike on. Then we're gonna go for a drive and um, yeah, we'll see what the annoyances are and exactly what uh, features may be on or off. I'll be back. Let's see what happens now that we're in the car and we throw this thing into reverse. Uh, I got a feeling it's not gonna like it. <laughs> but let's see what actually happens. Okay. So we can see that it's saying to stop because obviously it thinks there's something behind it. That's to be expected. If you start backing up, you can hear the beeping. So it's kind of freaking out at you. So, okay, let's put it back into park for a moment. And let me go to, uh, let's see here, trailer mode or whatever it's called. First time using it, I don't even know where to find it. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Here? No. Driving? Must be in driving. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Trailer mode is in driving. So let's turn that on. And it says here, always enable trailer mode before towing a trailer. Now, technically, having a bike on the back is not a trailer. Um, obviously, you don't have to plug in any, you know, reverse lights or anything like that. It's, you know, you don't need to have trailer mode on if you have a bike here um, on the back. But anyhow, let's see. Uh, do not enable trailer mode when not towing a trailer. Okay, so you're not towing a trailer, but you have a bike on the back. I'm gonna say that uh, it probably doesn't want you to be in trailer mode, but we're gonna try both. And uh, I did look at the owner's manual and it was um, equally clear as, as mud. So we're just gonna take it for a drive and we're gonna try the different modes and we're gonna see what the car does. All right, we're gonna tr start the drive uh, in trailer mode. Uh, you see a little red icon here in the bottom left-hand corner of a trailer. And uh, let's just get started. So with trailer mode, now you, you notice that there is no beeping uh, when I'm backing up. So I think that's obviously to be expected. 
probably turns off the uh, rear sensors. In the manual, it says that you know some safety features are disabled. It's not really clear about which ones. Um, I believe in trailer mode, auto uh, lane change, auto steer, those things may not work. But uh, we're going to find out. And then we're going to switch out of trailer mode and you know do a similar loop and we'll see what happens. All right, so let's throw this thing into autopilot and auto steer temporarily not available. So as I suspected, it just in trailer mode, uh, you're just not going to get those features. Um, you do have cruise control and I would venture to say that it's traffic aware cruise control. There's, there's nothing obviously strapped to the front of the car. So all those sensors are fine. Uh, so looks like we have our traffic aware cruise control, uh, but we do not have any autopilot whatsoever in trailer mode. I think that's pretty definitive. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to find a place to pull over and uh, we will start the next part of our test. All right, so let's take it out of the trailer mode. So now we've got it turned off and uh, let's see what features are available to us. One of the things after I had turned the camera on, so I just wanted to let you know about is that the, the traffic aware cruise control went on trailer mode was still identifying uh, traffic lights and um, in cruise control, it was, uh, it will, it'll still stop for you if it's a um, red light or you have to press the accelerator uh, to go through an intersection. So in uh, trailer mode, those features still work. And um, fortunately I didn't get that on camera, but I did want to tell you about it. And now trailer mode is off. So I think, I think that autopilot and auto steer will still work, but let's find out. So yeah, it's, um, it's definitely still working, but this is funky. I've, I've not seen this before. So see, okay. Stopping for traffic control is working. Um, but you can see here this uh, funky graphic here. So this to me says that, you know, the Tesla is saying that it can't identify things with its rear sensors and rear camera. So I think, um, yeah, you're, you're going to have your autopilot. You're going to have your auto steer. You're probably going to have, you know, navigate on autopilot and stuff like that as well. If the um, autopilot is working. So it's just mainly annoyance when you're backing up, if you're not on trailer mode and you have a bike on the back. So that's not too big of a deal. Uh, I'm not surprised that uh, you know the auto steer and whatnot still works even with rear sensors blocked because uh, back in the day you remember AP1 um, which was actually Mobileye and it only had a single camera and uh, I don't believe that there was a, a camera in the back that Mobileye was relying on or that type of thing so it's capable of driving obviously with just the front sensors and front camera on autopilot. So that's pretty cool. All right, so now you know how things work and uh, hopefully, hopefully this video was helpful. As always, please hit that subscribe button. It really does help. And I really appreciate you spending your time with me. Tesla Canuck, over and out.